This is a 1977 Harley Davidson XLCH. Kick only. My friend Ava has had this bike for, I don't know, 20 years plus. For the last uh, 13, 14, it's sat not running in storage. And she was looking to uh, rehome it for a little cash. I've never worked on one of these before. But as you can see, I've got other bikes. I've uh, had a number of them. I do some maintenance on my own. You know, I'm not going to balance the flywheel or nothing like that. But uh, probably wouldn't even tear down the top end. But as you can see, most of this stuff is just, uh, you know, some assembly required. It's going to need fork seals, the uh, front brake caliper. I have half of it. I don't have the other half. I don't have the side with the piston. I don't have the brake, front brake assembly or the master cylinder though. <clears throat> I do have one coming off of uh, eBay for 40 bucks, which is kind of cool. Uh, she was in the middle of a wiring harness replacement. Uh, you know, back in 04 or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> so the bike torn down pretty good. Uh, I think while it's all in pieces, I'll probably do a um, electronic ignition replacement. God knows the points are shot to shit and would need to be replaced without even trying. So, and if you're going to do that for 50 bucks, you might as well just get an electronic ignition and a coil and uh, start from there. It's got uh, bike came with a number of boxes, as you can imagine. <laughs> <clears throat> there's the original carburetor, and then there's a second carburetor that says AMF on it. Then there's uh, an SNS Super E and a rebuild kit that looks in pretty good shape. So I think uh, I'm just going to rebuild that SNS and give that a shot. Uh, came with a couple sets of shocks. I'm not sure that either set is uh, the right size for the shock or for the bike. As you can see, it's kind of sagging in the ass and uh, we'll have to figure some of that out I'm sure it uh, it does kick over uh, you know the motor is free which is good so that's a good place to start numbers matching on the frame and the uh, engine case got the uh, gas tank up there on the shelf kind of out of the way didn't want to uh, Scratch it up any more than it already is. But, uh, she got most of the way through this wiring harness. And as near as I can tell, all it's really lacking is uh, ground wire from the regulator to the primary there. And one from uh, the battery to the uh, ground uh, bolt on the, on the primary. And shit, then uh, <laughs> I'm going to do that piece of it. Going to run off to the store. Menards here is kind of our big, big box local store here in the Northland. So I'm going to see if I can't uh, wire that up. And the ignition looks like it's uh, pretty well put together. Well, I'm wondering if I might just get a headlight. I just put that headlight into the fitting there, and <laughs> that'd be a great start, you know. Be a great start because uh, the remainder of this looks like, uh, you know, some assembly. And again, I got most of the parts. So, looking forward to some fun. Uh, I'll try to make some videos as I go, and we'll uh, see if we can get some progress on the old YouTube.